Hi, welcome back to Zim Motorbike. Have you been wondering how long your motorbike would last? That is what we would be talking about today. But first, what is motorcycle mileage? This refers to how many miles or kilometers your motorbike can run at high speed using just one liter of gas. For example, your motorcycle travels for 500 kilometers or 310 miles on 16 gas liters or 5 gas gallons. The mileage of the motorcycle would be 31.5 kilometers per 1 liter or 62 miles for 1 gallon of gas. Mileage could also mean the reading of the odometer. An odometer tells how much distance that has been traveled by the motorbike. Mileage is also defined by some as the total distance that has been covered by your motorcycle. So, if you have ridden your motorcycle up to 20,000 miles, then that, in miles, is your motorbike's mileage. For the purpose of this video, we would take the last meaning of mileage. That is the total distance that has been covered by the motorcycle. So, how many miles does a motorcycle last? There is no definite answer to this question but we would try to clarify a few things. First, the odometer reading is overhyped. It is not the only factor affecting the longevity of the motorbike. Most people fear the 20,000 mileage deadline but people have reached and surpassed that mark and still have their bikes functioning well. Major determinants of how long your motorbike will last are 1. The age, size, and power of your engine. The bigger and more recent the engine, the longer the motorbike would last. 2. How well you maintain your motorbike. In no particular order, here are some things to put into perspective when getting a motorcycle that would last. 1. Who rode the motorcycle before now? A bike used by someone for long is more likely to last than one that has gone through lots of people in a short while. This means that the person has been taking proper care of the bike for it to last that long. But a motorbike that has been used by lots of people has a high probability that it would be treated with less care. Older people tend to take care of motorbikes better than young people. Young people tend to be reckless and some don't have enough cash to keep the bike in good condition always. 2. What kind of motorbike is it? Touring motorbikes may be over five times better off than the off-road motorcycle. The touring motorbikes last longer because they have better fuel efficiency. The touring bike has a low rev engine, an engine that can do its work well without overbearing or wearing itself out. The mileage on touring bikes may be accumulated when the rider was plying smooth highways. When one is on a smooth highway with a touring bike, the stress on the motorcycle engine is minimal. On the other hand, motocross motorbikes, which have small suspensions, don't last long. They are usually ridden hard and they require huge amounts of power. These kinds of bikes are usually wrecked, cracked, and crashed. Additionally, the type of terrain they are ridden on affects the well-being of the motorbike. The sands, dust, water, and dirt can enter tiny spaces and this can affect the longevity of the motorbike. These unwanted materials can even find their path to the engine, into bearings, and transmissions. These would simply help to facilitate the aging of the motorcycle. The structure of the motorcycle also contributes to the longevity of the motorbike. Motorbikes have different engine layouts and structures. Some bikes have engines that are flat or have inline six. These types of engines do not possess the vibration which other engines like the V-twin 45-degree engine have. Air-cooled motorcycles have shorter lifespan because they undergo a lot of stress on hot days. Chassis design matters too. Motorcycles with poor suspensions tend to allow the shock to get to chassis. Also, motorbikes which are very light in weight, are so, at the expense of some other vital qualities. Most times lightweight means a quality reduction or less durability. This would lead to subframes and frames that can be easily damaged. 3. Has the bike been in use? We are not asking if the motorbike is new. The question is, was the bike in use? Most times motorbikes with low mileage are so because they were not in use. Put them back on the road and they start showing some problems. If you let a motorbike to stay for long without use, the parts slowly become degenerate. Moisture can start building up and destroy vital parts, seals in the motorbike may get dry, and the tire would even degrade. If the motorbike was prepared for storage for a long time, some of these issues may not show up. But if the motorbike was just parked without being driven, then these issues will most certainly creep up. Motorcycles with high mileage yet used properly will have fewer issues than a motorbike with low mileage but not in use. 4. How was the motorcycle used? Was the rider using it with uttermost care? 
Was the motorcycle rider constantly ravaging the bike? Was it constantly overloaded? Did the rider use the bike in snow, dust, dirt, or sand? These factors should be what we consider before we can say with surety if a bike would have a long life or not. 5. Where was the motorcycle parked? Where was the motorcycle stored? Chrome and paint can bubble and peel off. The steel can also go rust. The temperature of the place where you keep your bike after each ride would also affect the bike. Factors like dirt, precipitation, and moisture can all have their adverse effects. Always check where you park or store your motorbike. What if the reading in odometer is wrong? Did you ever think of this? It is possible to manipulate mechanical units. Some can even be faulty and thereby give wrong mileage which can be lower or higher. 7. Was the bike properly cared for? This is chief amongst what would determine how long your motorbike will last. A refurbished motorbike that is properly taken care of will outlive one that is not damaged yet not properly cared for. Rebranding major parts of the motorbike would add mileage to your motorbike. How the motorbike looks generally is also vital in determining how long a motorcycle would last. If the bike looks shabby, it is badly used. Should high mileage be a discouraging factor when getting a motorbike? High mileage alone is not enough to decide whether you should get the motorcycle or not. This decision should come after one must have considered the options listed above. How do you increase the miles the motorcycle will last? Proper care of the motorbike and protection from harsh weather will make your motorcycle last long. Also, lube the motorbike regularly and comply with manufacturer's instructions. As much as possible avoid contact with rain. It hurts the brakes. Summarily, how long your motorcycle would last depends on how well you take care of it. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimmotorbike.com for more awesome motorbike content like this.